until Georgia voters begin casting their ballots in this year's presidential election, but the Democratic National Convention starts here in just days. This year, however, it's going to be different for the party, maybe a little bit more exciting than conventions in recent decades. Atlanta News First political reporter Doug Reardon will be in Chicago. Doug, you're joining the voters, the lawmakers, the delegates. You're going to be there live, but for now you're in Midtown looking to what's going to happen next week. That's right, we'll be there start to finish. We're heading out to uh, Sunday uh, for the Democratic National Convention, which, as you said, you know, Republican Democratic conventions really over the last 40 years have been very ceremonial because we know who the nominees are going to be. But with this summer shakeup, where we saw President Joe Biden hand the reins off to Vice President Kamala Harris, I think it's a safe bet to say that this year is going to be much more exciting. Even in light of a summer shakeup that saw incumbent President Joe Biden abandon his re-election bid, things at the Democratic National Convention should be very much business as usual with a few quirks. The candidate who won the primaries is not going to be the nominee. That is different. Besides that, Kennesaw State University political scientist Dr. Ben Taylor says there's another reason this DNC will be in a segment of history unto itself. Vice President Kamala Harris is a historic candidate in that she is the first black woman to be the nominee for a major political party. Harris has been able to energize a stagnant Democratic base that lost a lot of enthusiasm after Biden's poor performance at the debate here in Atlanta. Poll numbers prove it. Georgia, a once nearly 10-point lean towards Republican nominee Donald Trump, is now nearly a dead heat, and Harris could see another rise after the convention next week. And that's because of name recognition and general awareness, and of course the framing of the convention and the message they put out is all very positive about Vice President Harris. Big names in the party like Bill and Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, and VP nominee Tim Walls will also take the stage for addresses. All of them will need to focus on a positive message for the future and on mending wounds with Democratic faithfuls who are easing away from the party over its handling of things like the conflict in the Middle East. Some of them are delegates. There, are, there's some willingness for those upset voters and the the sort of. Uh, the Palestinian advocates to sort of say, hey, we need to have a larger conversation. And I think that the convention is the perfect place to do that kind of thing. And President Biden will also be speaking uh, one of these nights at the DNC. Now, keep in mind, Harris has already secured the delegates she needs to officially be the nominee. They voted virtually last month. From Midtown, Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First.